Georgia College recently welcomed a new sorority to its ever-expanding Greek life program. Alpha Omicron Pi is the newest organization to stake its claim on the campus. Whitney Dixon is a transfer student who is helping establish AO Pi in the Greek community. As far as Rush goes, it's a huge difference. Um, it's a lot shorter here and the organizations are a lot more tight-knit and close and I feel like um, it's a little more supportive here and I really enjoy that. Although AO Pi seem to appear almost out of thin air, adding a sorority to a campus is a lengthy process. There is um, installation criteria that we have to follow and it's just we want to make sure that they're retaining the women that we colonize. So, you know, we want to have a certain percentage of membership that we retain throughout colonization. Uh, we want to make sure that they're planning and developing. It's a lot of nitpicky things, but we want to make sure that they're planning for philanthropy events. They're planning for um, future recruitment events. We just want to make sure that they're making steps in developing the colony into a chapter. So it's not like we have to say, okay, you have to get to this amount of women or you have to do this and this. It's more of like, are you making the steps to do this? AO Pi started off with a bang, adding 80 girls to their first pledge class, and moving them another step closer to becoming a fully fledged sorority. They are well on their way though, already participating in philanthropy events as well as sisterhood events. The women also, last night, I was telling you about the Braves um, game. They participated in a strikeout arthritis night at um, Turner Field with the Braves. And so a lot of ticket sales, if you purchased it through um, AOPI's International um, Philanthropy or Arthritis Research, you got 50% of the of ticket sales. I want to say it was 50%, but um, we attended that event. And then we also had girls at the Yaconi Area Fair that had a table and they did baked goods and face painting and they'll donate that money also to the Arthritis Foundation and research. Members of the sorority are confident that they can accomplish everything in time to become a chartered sorority on campus. But we're hoping to just really make an impact as fast as we can and set our ground here at GCSU. Um, we've already done a lot and the girls have just jumped right in and been helpful and involved and excited and I think we're going to do great things. If all goes according to plan, AOPI will get their charter at the beginning of December. Reporting for GC360, I'm Nick Burgess.